Hope you're all still awake. Late Night Mega here. I'm over on this place on the outer wall because I want to pass through here as mist. And that gets us Mirror, Curious, and Jewel Knuckles. Other than that, I don't think there's a breakable thing here. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at this stuff. Polish to resist stoning. Speaking of which, I did get stoned off camera. No, I'm not smoking anything. It's, uh, I got hit by one of those things. And the jewel reinforced knuckles. Oh. We'll punch stuff in the face for a little while. Nope, I still want... Actually, I might want the axe again. I just punch the candle in the face. Uh, okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to... I didn't want to do that. It's either underground waterway or clock tower. And I'm avoiding the clock tower, so uh, we'll try the underground waterway and see if that's where, uh, where I've got to go next. I will just meet you over there because it's just backtracking. Uh, you know, on second thought, one other thing I wanted to show off over here. These enemies, you can stand on their on the back here. It doesn't hurt you to stand there. Stop, I'm trying to demonstrate things. It doesn't hurt you to stand here, but it's not really productive either. But it is a thing that you can do. There's a lot of weird quirks to some of the enemies in that about this game. That's why I like it. Um, not this one. We're almost there anyways. And plus, I kind of need to show you guys the start of this area. Oh, no, that's just a haunted table. Don't want to get beat up by a table today. We've already done that. I have a shield. A shield that I constantly forget that I have. I've also talked about the spells before and how some people are really good with the spells and can use them and chain a whole bunch of silly stuff. And that's cool and everything. Uh, it's just, it's not my style. I'm more of like a basic platforming guy. I have an attack button, I have a jump button, I dodge around. You see, I don't even use the backslide that much. Um, I do want to save it here just in case I screw things up. I have been known to do that before. It's usually hilarious, too. Yeah, there's 400 gold there. We still can't get to that. So yeah, I don't have to worry about screwing that up. And there's nothing else up there, I don't believe. Well, I mean, it looks like there's... Well, now it really doesn't matter. I mean, it looks like there should be a secret spot elsewhere in there. I like the, uh... I like the effects of us falling there, and the illusions of Alucard behind us. Okay, first place we want to go is down here. This secret area. No. No. No frozen shades. Where, since we have the mermaid statue, the oarsman appears here. Now this area is going to be challenging, so stay on your guard. You have to duck here, otherwise you will just get pushed off, and it's not going to be a good thing. Don't worry about that item, we'll get it on the way back. I don't trust this place. For good reason. Take that. Take that. 
It's best to not just play with the bats like I am. Yo, oh, oh, my policy, my bat must die policy is ruined. Now oh, fine. We took a damage there from that. But come on, Alucard. Now we get the uh, holy symbol. It's a snorkel. A snorkel is called a holy symbol. Why can't it be called a snorkel? But this useful item makes it so we don't get hurt being underwater anymore. I'm going to have him take us back to... I just want that that jewel. Actually, I don't think there's a ton of items in this part of the water. Yeah, this is what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be uh, exploring the waterways, the water parts of the waterways. Yeah, another onyx. That's a fairly valuable uh, piece of jewelry there. I'm just going to go back and map this in just so we can see what it's like. And it always makes me paranoid, especially in this game, um, partly because of the walk armor, and partly because there is there is good reason to try and get 100% map completion. Yes, I know I said 100%. For all of you who are familiar with this game, don't worry, I'm trying not to spoil things. But when I'm underwater with a holy snorkel, you know, what else am I going to do? Yeah, like I said, there's really not much under here. It's kind of a disappointing area. And, but there is going to be something something very nice there. We could have got that earlier. Well, clearly we didn't need it. We haven't gamed over... Gamed over? We haven't game overed yet. The Knuckle Duster. It's another thing you can punch stuff in the face. By the way, the reason I'm not punching stuff in the face is that uh, jewel thing that... The, that we got. It's actually... Cut it out. It's actually not as strong as the sword against uh, some enemies, or most of them. Despite what the attack power on the menu screen tells you. Um, okay, before I screw something else up, let's save. Because we do have to go back to that waterfall area. Actually... Yeah, there's going to be a lot more water exploring here. Oh, we've got to deal with frogs again. Nightmare frogs. This thing is a five heart. How did I not get that? Another thing that I will occasionally... Use your shield to block that. Another thing I will occasionally do is... Uh, die to fish heads, apparently. That's what they're actually called. Is uh, attempt to go through here... Without the... Better... Uh, Without the snorkel. Oh, we got an ice brand. That's a really good sword. It's the ice sword of Mim. Okay, coming this way for that was not ultimately worth it. Fish heads will die. We'll get a level up out of it. And some map completion. Uh, so the nunchuck, I'll show this off just because it's uh, new. Strikes enemy twice, it's two-handed. Yeah, that's, that's what it does. 
It's fairly quick, but I like having a shield. Even if I don't use it properly half the time, I, I like having a shield. Okay, maybe it's not that... Eric, get out of here. Good nightmare frogs and toads. It's... Oh, gosh. Throw a thing. Block something. All you fish are dying. Stupid fish. Stupid nightmare frogs. I don't know what's worse, the nightmare fish or the frogs. Frogs, definitely the frogs. Somewhere underneath here is going to be some really nice items, not anti-venom. I'm talking like there's, there it is, health up. And yeah, those things are only increasing our health by five. But they're always nice to find. <laughs> Did he just burn his tongue on the holy water? That's awesome! Flying frogs. Flying nightmare frogs. You may be wondering, why are they nightmare frogs? Well, it all started back in my Mega Man Legends 2 playthrough, where there was this uh, Picasso-like... I screwed it up. Uh, I wanted to hit... I wanted to get over there. I may try again off-camera. Just because it's going to take a while to get back. Oh, yeah, you you absorb ice, don't you? Very well. You don't absorb that. Um, so it all started my Mega Man Legends 2 Let's Play, where I found this painting of a frog. It was like a Picasso-type uh, painting as well. I want to get off of here and just explore, just explore. Okay, I don't need you. I need you. Now there's a spot over there. We'll get that spot on the way back, maybe. Um, and, and I'm like, oh, it's a frog of my nightmares. Well, then we end up fighting a uh, frog boss. Oh my gosh, it's a killer fish. It's a moving fish. It only moves back and forth. It evaporates in a giant puffball. Don't tell me there's nothing else there. There's nothing else there. Okay, very well. Uh, so we do have to exit here to get this guy to go this way again. And so then I fought the frog thing. Meanwhile, I was also uh, recording... Uh, I believe there's a nice chunk of money in there. Well, this is not good. Well, we got that spot mapped in. Okay, I guess we can get uh, back out of here. That's fine. Yeah, I believe that candle's going to have a nice amount of money in it. Uh, but anyways, at the same time, I was also recording Yu-Gi-Oh! And, uh, and the part I was recording had a frog that looked... It was like this multicolor Picasso frog, very much like the painting from Mega Man Legends 2. And so that's how the whole nightmare frog thing got started. And now every game where there's frogs, there are nightmare frogs, and they're haunting me to no end. 
Uh, oh, while we're here, can I... I th thought you had to be a bat, but I could be wrong. Can you, can you please dash? I have to be a bat. I think it only works if I'm a bat. Now you dash. You dash way too far. The trigger for the thing that I'm trying to do. I just want to do this. Did I just spoil... I spoiled things. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll go... We'll... I'm going to attempt that waterfall crossing again with hopefully less failure. And if that doesn't work, I'll meet you at the clock tower. And we'll do that next time.